It's working, guys. It's working. Guys, welcome back to FTB Stonebox 3, episode 4. So, off camera, I have been washing some ores and we got loads of stuff, guys. Loads of stuff. In this episode, I want to fully automate it. And to do so, we will need a setup with cobblestone generators going into auto iron hammers going into the washing machine. So guys, we can now make pistons because we have redstone and I finally made the compound in drawer, which is amazing. Why? Because we don't need to do this stuff manually. Wait, what? Oh, keeps the inventory. Let's see. Check this out. Boom. So I want to upgrade the stone generators. And the next step for this is to make a melter and tinker smelter or tinker smeltery. So we get the gen 2. So let's do that. We will need some Groot. To get Groot, you need one clay block, four sand and four gravel. Or we can use one clay ball, one sand and one gravel. Uh, gravel and sand you get from smashing cobblestone with a hammer. Clay you can get from uh, washing sand in water or you can use drippers which we got very early in the game. You place them on top of dirt if you if you didn't get a reward of drippers you can uh, easily craft them with wood and then you need water so you just place water into them and they start dropping water on the dirt and there you go you already have we already have where's my oops where's my shovel where is my shovel Hold on a sec, it must be here. Yep, it's here. So. That's how you get clay. Uh, I'm not sure which is the fastest way, but I feel like washing sand is the best. Like, it feels faster for me. Like, you just throw a lot of it in. Let's see how, we, how much we get from... How much was it? About five, five, definitely five, five stacks. Let me put this clay here. Let's see how much we get from five stacks of sand. These guys, I don't know. Sometimes they are fast. Sometimes they take ages. How about this thing? I think it's done. So see guys, this is much faster. But let's see how much clay we got. We got almost a stack of clay. Of course it's based on chance. But... I don't know guys, do you want to spend time... Placing dirt down... Waiting... Getting the clay... Whereas with this... If you can build the compact compacting drawers... Let's see how fast can I get... Uh, sand. So I'll take all the compressed cobblestone, place it down, smash it once, then using another comp an empty compacting drawer, I'll just place the gravel here, take all the compressed gravel, and if you have an iron one, it's even faster. Let's break that down. Place all the dirt. dirt. Hmm. I didn't want to place all the dirt. Or maybe I did want. I don't remember. Hold on a sec. Well, let's keep four stacks for the time being. Alright. And boom, how many stacks of sand is that? 13 stacks of sand. Let's see how much clay we get. Let's see. Is it done? It's done. We got too much stuff. I can't complain, guys. This is amazing.
we got like three stacks three stacks of clay this is amazing guys this is amazing oh guys we got a lot of clay but i think i will use just one stack of one stack of clay four stacks of sand and four stacks of gravel should gives a give us a lot of groot <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot. Check this out, guys. Now I can show you the lava thing. Just place all the Groot here. And eventually, this will all turn into seared brick. All right, guys. Seared brick is done. Let's do this. Let's get it. And boom. Jump back into the water one. The cool one. Because this is burning us. How many stacks is that? That's like nine. Nine stacks of seared brick. Hopefully, this will be enough for everything we need. All right, guys, so let's do the Tinker's uh, quests. This should be fairly easy if you have the materials. Let's start with the seared heater and the seared melter. Sorry, first we need the seared fuel gorge, which we have glass from smelting it uh, using the lava fan, the heated fan. All right, and a seared melter. Perfect. First quest done then we need a casting table one of those and one of those and we'll need like two of those ah one makes three i didn't know that nice and then we need a cast so this should be done fairly easy place this down seared melter on top of the heater and you can place these things on any side around this thing. And use the seared faucets just like so. And this accepts coal, I believe. Let's get a stack. And heat it up. Let's heat up some copper. Some copper. Wait, no. We need some gold for the cast. Do we have gold? Yes, we'll take 16. But uh, copper we can use on a seared brick. Seared brick, I think it goes here. And then you cast it out. Yep. You need four of them. And this will provide us the smeltery controller. Noise. How do we make the seared drain? All right, we need copper ingots. Guys, you can make those uh, by using an ingot cast. But... Uh, yeah, I'll definitely make it, but I got two copper ingots from uh, different rewards. So I'll just craft it right now. Seared drain. Nice. And now we need a cast. Well, let's start with the ingot cast. Place an ingot on the casting table. And I believe it needs two gold. But we can add more because we'll need it anyways. We'll make a few casts in the future. Let's see if two gold is enough. Two ingots. Let's see. I think that was... Wait, one? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. We'll check it out later. And the smeltery. What else do we need? Right, seared tank. So, seared fuel tank. I believe it goes like so. And a glass in the middle. Yep, it's done. And I think we also need... Some seared bricks. Yep. Nice. We got all the quests. Let's see what we get, guys. A laser connector. A mighty smelling... Ah, I guess this is a reward from the, the quests. Not a, like a random reward. Redstone comparator. Crescent hammer. And punny smelting. So, yep. So the rewards we got was four laser connectors, six redstone com compatit comparators, and a crescent hammer. Well, nothing special to be honest. Anyways. So I'm making casts. I made almost all of them. And I wanted to make a cast chest. Guys, I'm not sure. If it is connected, like, I guess it's not. I guess it's not. 
All right, so I got them all, guys. I think I got them all. No, I didn't. There's uh, a few more to come. But that's okay. We'll uh, craft them later. So, guys, I think the next thing I want is to upgrade my cobble gen. Let's see. Cobble gen. How do we make... Aha. Uh -huh. Four blocks. So, that's three. Four. We need to smelt them down. And we don't need the smeltery. And also we'll need the... The actual cobble gen. I think you put it in the casting basin. What happened? Let's let's make yeah. Ing ingots should be okay. One and two. Basically, in the smeltery you can mix liquids, but not in the. Hold on a sec. One block, yes. One. Two. Three. And four. They shoot. Yep, it's working. It's working. What do we need next? Oh no. It's all done in the basin. I think I'm going to make a smeltery, guys. Yes, let's do that. Alright, guys, I got... I moved the ship. I dug a hole. And I think this is an okay spot for the smeltery. Let's see. I'm not even sure if we need to use it that much. Let's see. Smeltery controller. Boom. What is this? You need a smeltery tank. What is this? You need a smeltery drain. I guess you do. Right. Mm. Then I need some lava. Noise. Very nice. So, what do we need next? Four blocks of iron. Easy. Easy peasy, guys. Lemon squeezy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We got more than enough. And we'll also need this guy. Okay, right here. Place him here. And smelt four blocks. Next thing we need is four blocks of gold. Should be easy as well, right? Let's see, four blocks. Boom. And smell 36 gold. We got the third gen cobble generator. Four blocks of gold. Ready. So you say it's 32? Let's see. Wait, what? I can't smelt it. Temperature 1450. I see. So we need blazing blood. Well, diamond can wait. Gold. Gold cobble. Cobble generator. Tire 4. Let's see what we get, guys. A redstone upgrade. Okay. An alternator. What is this? Okay. I guess it's good. <laughs> I don't know. So this guy... What's the speed? What's the speed? Oh my god. It's going pretty fast. Pretty fast. So I guess I want to get like one for the ground. One for the sand. One for the dust of dirt and cobble. So let's do that guys. Let's build five of those. So I need four more gold. Water. Lava. Cobble chain. Noise. Noise, noise, noise. So, we got three. Here's our fourth one. 16 seared bricks to smelt. Is it done? It's done. 
boom right guys i don't think you need to watch this process so i'm going to make cuts until i get the golden ones so we got the fourth bubble gen noise so guys now i need 10 iron auto hammers one for gravel two for dirt three for sand which is six and four for dust so let's make them all right guys so if my calculations are correct we need 30 stone rods 20 iron ingots for 10 10 iron hammer then we need 40 iron 40 gold 40 redstone and 40 glass and 10 i don't know what, what happened guys my math was so off sorry about that well we got 10 guys and it's working check this out it's making the gravel so yeah let's just quickly make the next one this should be what is it why is it okay dirt nice noise one dust 21 dirt 30 gravel and 14 sand so this is going okay guys okay, so i decided to upgrade so let's see gold diamond all right guys so we got some gravel set up and some sand i want those for the time being i want to wash all the gravel i can get so guys i'm <laughs> i'm overloaded by resources guys we got we're full on gravel we were full on sand we got two crystal chests full of resources. I've gone ahead and dug a small room with the diamond impact hammer. So we can continue with the create setup. Our goal is to get the cobble gents to craft gravel sand and dust get all those resources through the washing process and then we can also crush the ores through crushing wheels so let's make the crushing wheels we'll need 21 mechanical crafters what do we need we need seven crafting tables seven brass casings and seven electrode tubes how do we get polished cross quartz mm -hmm. do i need to go to the nether think I definitely do. Then I made some botany pots using clay. Uh, clay balls into bricks and clay blocks into terracotta. Smelt them down and also use a hopper. I, I should have done this a long time ago guys. This will provide us with a source of wood next thing we need is uh, to get some never quartz and for that we need some soul sand to get soul sand uh, the best uh, way in create uh, is get a mixer and the side alloy how much do we need oh nice let's get this growing and what you do is place the logs like a so get an axe and i think right click yep to strip the logs and then you pick your underside alloy and just right click it very nice then we got everything we need mechanical mixer you need a cauldron and a mixer and now it needs power guys check this out this is how you increase the speed <laughs> Oh my god, guys, this is going crazy fast. So you basically get the rotational force uh, out. You place a big cogwheel into a small one, but then you don't touch the next big one. 
like in the same thing but on the same shaft then you go to a small one again big one small big small oh my god guys so now we need a gearbox and we need a vertical one i don't remember yep just like a so then a vertical gearbox going down uh, what do you call it? cogwheel attach to a mixer oops hold on a sec maybe it's too fast let's go back one level yeah like this this should be okay into a mixer oh come on all right let's see if i figured this out so i placed some more water wheels and it seems to be going faster let's see four sand four mop so no it doesn't work what do i need to do mechanical mix guys i'm so stupid i was using a cauldron you need the base <laughs> oh my god how stupid am i guy yay snad why would you make snad this is exciting guys no stop it oh, all snap so um let's see if i can light this up lint and steel oh very nice no we got soul sand nice now we can wash it for quartz noise guys we got 13 never quartz and 13 glowstone and i believe we needed some redstone to make this into and then we needed a sandpaper how do we make a sandpaper paper sugarcane so dust but how do we get sugarcane crooking from crooking sand aha uh -huh. all right guys let's crook some sand noise oh we need it we'll get some sugar cane later and i think you place it in your offhand yep very nice then we need some iron sheets and we got the electron tubes then we need some brass which you get by mixing zinc and copper noise so the brass ingots go on a log sorry a stripped log so right click with an axe to strip it and then click with a brass ingot no way. in that eight crafting tables eight brass casings and eight electron tubes should make us 20 or mechanical crafters i'm also going to make a create wrench i think it's useful to move around machinery let's check it out what does it do oh nice useful to have guys i wanted to make some engineers goggles because i don't understand what's going on let's see if it helps us mm-hmm It seems to be working. Noise. So I change the directions to face, um, like to follow one line to an end. And then I'm also going to make, to craft a teapot, which is basically a create chest. Let's see what we need for the crushing wheels. Right, I'll be back, guys. So let's see, I got everything we need. One stone or wood and 16 on this side alloys Let's see if this works looks like it works nice very nice all right guys let's see what we get from the soul sand crushers tempad hmm what is a tempad 
Perfect. Okay. Test. In location. Test. Add location. Is that like a teleporter? Run a program. This to add location. Run program. Test. Teleport. Oh my god, guys. This is amazing. So, guys, let's see. Russian wheels. They need to be heading into the same direction. We need to provide some power. Hey guys, so this is what I have going on so far. One stream of water going into two water wheels going into the opposite direction. Let's see if this works. Right. Well, that kind of works. Just need to go in the opposite direction. Right, guys, we got this figured out. So I switched the water wheels behind and I removed all the things here. Seem to be working. Let's test this out. We'll need a chute and some gravel. So, shoot are made with iron and iron sheet is used which is made from an engineer's hammer and uh, what is a smart shoot? filtering items nice but let's test this out let's put in some gravel it seems to be working guys put another sh here do i have a chest don't but we can quickly make one because oh my god i got more sheep because we got the botany pods going let's see all right guys so after about two minutes we got uh, two osmium oh and those nice it's working guys it's working all right guys to finish off last thing we did we cleared up everything and i moved everything to the big room now we got all the cobble gens and hammers working into compacting drawers we also have one extra cobble gen or cobble and i moved all our stuff here including our resources and a miscellaneous chest where i keep everything so guys i hope you enjoyed the episode i'm wishing you a great start of the week and i'll see you back tomorrow with some Seftec ages bye guys have a good morning good day and a good night